Okay, morning guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's Saturday morning. I took delivery yesterday afternoon uh, from a logistics company. Uh, something for the Land Rover, which I posted on Instagram recently, which most of you guessed <laughs> correctly, uh, obviously because of the shape, is a new bonnet for the Land Rover. So it's in the back of the car at the moment. Um, and basically, when I took the roof off and fitted the, the bar for the seat belts, I sort of had an inkling before I did that that the spare wheel wouldn't fit. Um, and sure enough, when I fitted it, uh, the bar that is, the, uh, the spare wheel didn't fit. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, and either I drive around with, without a spare wheel, which, you know, um, isn't ideal, um, but I, I've been doing. Um, or I find a solution. So the solution is either to put it on the back, which you can't really uh, with this flap, you can with obviously the, the full door, um, or I put it on the bonnet, but I didn't have the right bonnet for it. So I have been looking for, for a while for a, um, a, a bonnet uh, with the spare wheel carry on it. I know you can modify the existing bonnets just with the, with the, um, the plate to hold the spare wheel, but I didn't really want to do that because A, I didn't really want to drill into the original bonnet because it's in really good condition. Um, and I don't always need the wheel on, on the bonnet uh, when the roof is on so it can go back inside. So that's like a, a variation for that. Um, and I've, I've always sort of <laughs> secretly wanted a, uh, a, a bonnet with the, uh, which can hold the spare wheel. So now I finally have one. It took a, a quite a while to find a good one. Um, because what usually happens is obviously the frame that uh, that supports the aluminium skin to the bonnet they usually rot out and you know they're going for 250 300 euros undelivered uh, even with holes in in the frame so it took a while to find one so I found one in northern Germany near Kiel uh, which is miles away from me it's about five or six hours drive and um, and it took it took it took a bit of time to actually get it here um, not many of the postal companies wanted to take it. It even was picked up by, I think, DHL, and then they, they even returned it back to the guy who I bought it from. So it's a bit of a nightmare. It took about two weeks, I think, to get here. But as I say, finally it's here. It arrived yesterday with a logistics company. Uh, cost a bit more on the, on the uh, postage, obviously, but it doesn't matter. It's a darn sight cheaper than, than driving up there to get it. So I'm really excited. As I say, it's in the back of the car. And what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna test fit it and everything and um, and put put the spare wheel on and so on and as you'll see in a minute I'm I'm just gonna leave it like that until probably the winter because it's a it's army green it's camouflage I haven't even looked at it yet so I'll, I'll unpack it with you guys uh, and check it over I know it's got a dent in the front um, but um, but you know it was it was it's, it's it seems to be in really good condition so the guy says no rust at all so we'll soon see um, and I'm probably for the summer I might change my mind, but I'm probably just going to leave it the camouflage, um, just so I actually can get the uh, the spare wheel on the front and drive around um, with the roof off. So let me show you. Okay, so it actually fitted in the BMW pretty well. I didn't didn't know whether it would or not, but as you can see, with the seats down and the cover off the back, the luggage cover off the back, it fits pretty well. It's pretty heavy, I must admit. Um, so carrying it with one person is not easy, but I'm going to uh, take it out, put it on that table over there, and unwrap it. Okay, so here goes. So it looks pretty well packed, actually.
stuff. I like to use seven rolls of sellotape to uh, to pack this, but uh, but I'm not complaining because it's it's pretty well packed. I must admit. Jeez, Louise. wrapping a massive Christmas present. Make sure you can actually see that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Crusty old camouflage paint. Fantastic. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to get that paint off, I can imagine. It's amazing, look at that. Oh, there's a big dent there as well. Hmm. Gosh. Okay. Okay. So he has made quite a bit of effort to try and protect it, but <clears throat> I'm sure it was thrown about quite a lot by the transport company. Because generally, as we know, they don't really care. Okay. a lot of packaging. Right. <clears throat> okay, so let's show you around. I've already seen quite a lot of damage, to be honest. I knew about this dent here, which is pretty big, to be honest. Um, that's pushed up this, you can see that sort of pushed up that lip there. Um, and that's also something you can't really get to because of the frame behind. Um, but also, what am I seeing? I'm seeing, I think that's kind of, is that a dent there? I think it's just been used, you know, it's clearly a military, a military bonnet and it's just been walked on and used. I think there's some dents there. There's a dent. And this is quite dented here. Um, but you know what? It doesn't really bother me. I mean, it does a bit, but uh, I, I paid 200 euros for it. You can see it's been banged there, but no real damage. Um, there's a dent here I saw. If you can see that, it's a bit dark. The dent on the edge, and there's also, this is what I wasn't aware of, there's quite a lot of damage along here. So, I'm gonna, I can get that out though. Um, and there's a big dent on the end here. I dare say that was already there to be honest, but it could have it could have happened in transport, but I'm not too worried about that. I'll be able to get those out. Let me have a look on the back side. He said there's some surface rust, which there is. Let me just give you a wide angle view of it if I can. From the back side, it absolutely looks in excellent condition. I mean, 
Yes, there is surface rust, but that's nothing. I mean, all of the other ones I looked at, uh, see, I need the, um, the bump stops there. All the other ones I looked at were, were rusted through. So this doesn't have any holes in it whatsoever. It's just surface rust, which is brilliant. So when I come to actually do this, it's quite possible that I'll take the frame out and do it all properly. Um, but for now, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, maybe remove some of the dents and test fit it to the car. Okay, so just uh, cleaned it up a little bit. I'm um, just scraping off some of that military paint. This is the first, uh, you know, car part that I've ever had, which is from the military, and they really do slap on that camouflage paint. You can see it's it's incredibly incredibly thick. I mean, even in some parts, where is it here? Like it's so thick that you you almost lose the rivets. Um, so there's clearly a lot of work to be done. Uh, you can see the dents along here. I don't even know if it's going to sit flat on the car, to be honest. Look at that. Dent there, big dent there, dent there, quite a big dent there, quite a big one there. And then here as well, there's just a big dent. So we'll have to see what we can do with it. I mean, obviously, I'm saving this as well. I seem to be saving, <laughs> saving, saving parts rather than buying parts, which I can use straight away. But, uh, you know, even if you have... I don't know, two, three, four hundred euros to spend on a bonnet, you just can't find them. As I say, it took, took long enough to find this one in this condition. Um, but like a lot of these things, because they're so far away, you just have to trust the people who are selling them and you buy them sight unseen. Sometimes we, you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, with this, uh, I mean, I'm just happy it's got no rust. I mean, it's all repairable. I mean, I don't know if maybe some of these big dents are, have creased the metal so badly that, you know, that they won't come out. I don't know, but we'll soon see. You can see this is a little bit bent as well, uh, probably through transport, really, uh, because it's a, a vulnerable thing. What I would have done, I think, uh, in packing it, I would have packed this out a little bit so it would have been a bit more protected, but he didn't do that. But there it is, you know, I mean, it's fine. The main thing is that I've got it. I'm really pleased with it, and I think now I'm going to test fit it to the car. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to shout a little bit because we've got some work going on in the background. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this bonnet off and put the new one on, but I'll do it on time lapse because the noise is too annoying. Okay, so that is the bonnet on. It didn't take too long. And with the sun catching it, you can see it fits, it's fine. Um, the dents, <laughs> you can see. Uh, but there's a few things I've noticed. So let me just put that over here. I mean, it's very cool. I am quite pleased with it, despite how tattered it is. Um, but there are a couple of things. So firstly, um, it's got these ground straps which I don't have on mine, which I think I'm gonna just take off. But secondly, obviously the connection is different on the military version because here there is no um, pin for the, uh, for the uh, I can't remember what this is called. I know some of you get annoyed that I keep uh, not getting the words right, but it's, uh, it's the way it is, I'm afraid. Um, the, um, the pin that goes in, the shutting pin there. Uh, so that obviously isn't part of the military version because it has this. And these are the uh, the catches, the quick release catches that you have on the military version, I guess. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Obviously, I've got them on on this one. Aha! There's another realization, you see, because I haven't got them on this one because it's a different bracket. That's interesting and quite annoying. <clears throat> so the bracket is completely missing. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if that's got anything to do with this hole here, does it? I wonder if that hole lines perfectly up with the, uh, that'd be interesting. It doesn't. <laughs> so obviously 
not going to work straight away, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but there it is. Uh, what I'll do now is I think I'll just throw on the, the spare wheel, probably break my back in doing so, but uh, put on the spare wheel just to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Oh yes, <laughs> that looks very cool. Let me get up on this table here. So that is the first look with the, the new bonnet on. <laughs> it looks really good. Let me just see what it looks like from in here. Let me get round. See what it looks like from within the car because that's the that's the difference <clears throat> okay yeah it's seriously limited um visibility i would say <laughs> i used to be able to see like to there but obviously it adds i'm mean, about half the windscreen it takes away which is quite interesting but that is pretty cool with the weight, I tell you, with the weight of that spare wheel on the front, I'll be amazed if if the bonnet ever came open. But don't worry, not that I'm going to uh, drive it without it. But um, well, I might, but uh, not officially anyway. Let's have a look. Those dents, ooh, they might be affecting that gutter there. I might just have to tap that out with the hammer, and maybe find, think of a different way of of securing it down. But so, oh, the other thing that I noticed, Christ, that's heavy. The other thing that I noticed as well is that it didn't come with the uh, supporting arm. So I'm gonna have to take that one off mine as well. Um, but if any of you have got any clever ideas of, of how I can transform a military bonnet to fitting the civilian vehicle, that would be very useful because obviously it's missing, as I say, this whole section here. But, I should have turned the car around really because the, the light's a bit bad, but um, pretty cool. What do you think guys? <laughs> have I made a mistake in buying this? No, I don't think so. It needs a bit of work like most things do. Um, and who knows, maybe that catch issue is, 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 maybe I can't overcome it without actually putting some, some catches, uh, uh, you know, either side of the bonnet. I don't really want to do that because obviously then I'm going to have to drill into the bonnet again, or the wings at least. But uh, let's see. Pretty cool. For okay, now. so I just took it for a quick drive around the building here, uh, which admittedly isn't very far, but um, this started rattling like hell. So actually, this is bounding correctly. So I think that is correct now. Pulling it down over the, the top here, like that. At least it tightens up now, it didn't before. But if that's wrong, do tell me. Um, it's quite a bit of rattling, I think, from the front. This, I can see, is probably touching because of the dent. Or is it? Maybe not. Uh, anyway, but I've got to deal with that anyway because I need to straighten it up. Uh, but I tell you, I went over some pretty hefty bumps around the, uh, around the building there, like really deep ones, and the bonnet didn't budge at all. So I think I'll... Um, I'll probably just go for a quick drive without the catch, uh, which I'm sure none of you will like, but, um, but I think it'll be fine. But I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Got to get a little padlock, obviously, for the top there. Not that I really leave it out overnight anywhere, of course, but um, that'll be worth doing. And uh, I've got to go and pick up some uh, a package uh, at the drop-off point now anyway, so a quick drive, I think, is in order. What do you think, guys? I think it looks really cool. And it also means I can drive with a, a spare wheel <laughs> when I go out with the roof off. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention as well is that this is the first drive that I'm gonna go on uh, having done all the oils and stuff. So, um, yeah, I did it in another video because I had a stripped thread on the overdrive uh, sump plug. So that's all fixed now, it's re-threaded. It's got the oil in, and uh, so yeah, I mean, just driving it around the, around the block here, it, it really feels a lot smoother. But with all the new oils, I'm, I'm really looking forward to going on a quick drive now, and I'll let you know how. Okay, so the car <coughs> is really smooth. It's lovely to drive, uh, but this is just a view from 
from the driver's seat to see what difference it makes with the wheel. It really doesn't bother me at all, to be honest. Uh, it makes no difference whatsoever. So there you go.